Hi guys! Today I will teach you how to grow a bean seed in a cotton pool. So what do you need for your, your experiment? You need any plastic cup, can be the one that you just ate, the, your yogurt or your favorite dessert. Any plastic cup or any small container like this one. Then you can get some cotton. You can ask your mom, I'm sure she has some. So you can get a piece of cotton wool. So then you place inside, you can open it a little bit. You place inside carefully. You don't need to press, just leave very soft. This way, see? And then you can get some beans, bean seed. Can be any kind of beans. Can be kidney beans, can be this one, black, any kind of beans. So you can place just two or three separated from each other because after they need space for them to grow, the roots to start growing and they need space for them to grow. Then you can get some water. Don't need to drop too much, just for the cotton to get wet. Just a little bit like this. See? So they are separate for each other and then wet the cotton. After you can place this close to the sunlight, where the sunlight you know, is coming inside. Can be a window, can be any place in your house that you see the, that is sunlight. Then when you leave there, after one or few days, you see that the bean will start breaking up the, the skin and the, the root to start growing. So then you grow a nice plant, a bean tree. So this is our experiment for today. And I would like to teach you something through this experiment. The, the water represents the Holy Spirit. It's the living water, as the Bible says. The beans represent your faith. When you drink from the water, when you seek the Holy Spirit, you're watering it for you to grow, for you to develop your faith. Then, what, how are you going to do that? By seeking the Holy Spirit, by going to CBC, learn the message there, and apply, do what you are told to do. Do what God is telling you to do. Don't do what you feel like doing. Okay? Because many times, you just want to do what you like, what you feel like, but it's not the right way for you to act. The right way is, is this is good for me? Is this bad for me? So if you see that the will of God, obey. If you see that's not the will of God, run away. If your friends are telling you for you to steal something, if you know you feel like lying, if you are in trouble, you feel oh no, I have to lie now because otherwise you're gonna have a big trouble. Don't lie. Just say the truth because just say the truth because the Holy Spirit He will deliver you from your troubles. Okay, so when you seek the Holy Spirit, you have this strength, you have this peace, this happiness, this joy inside of you. All right, so after a few days, you're gonna see the results of your seeds, and during the 21 days, you see the results in yourself. You see how much you have grown, how much you have learned, how much closer to God you are. So when you follow these steps, you see the results after these 21 days. Right? So pay attention to everything that you learn in the CBC and do it. Alright? Don't be, don't allow the words to be just in your mind, but do it for you to see the results. Okay? I will plant my beans and I would like to see yours. Yeah? So see you next time. Bye bye!